Shalom, shalom. Peace and blessings. Just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to the page. Thank you. Cosmography and Geography in two parts. By Mansour Sanson, the geographer to the French king, 1693. When God had promised it to Abraham and his posterity, it was called the land of promise. But when it fell into the hands of the Hebrews after their return from Egypt, and they had it divided by tribes, it took the name of the land of the Hebrews, under which it was governed by prophets, judges, and kings. But under these kings, it was soon divided into two realms, which they called Judah and Israel. Under the Romans, it was only known by the name of Judea or Palestine, of Judea because the tribe of Judah was always the most powerful of the twelve, and the kingdom of Judah the most noble, and preserved itself longer than that of Israel of Palestinia because of the Philistines, which possessed a part of the maritime coast of Judea were powerful and very well known to strangers. After the death of our Savior, Jesus Christ, all this country was called the Holy Land. The people which anciently possessed this country were the Jews, being of a middle stature, strong of body, of a black complexion, Google-eyed, subtle and ingenious people and such as would live in any place. Sex and race, Negro Caucasian mixing in all ages and all lands by J.A. Rogers, volume one, The Old World. Were the Jews originally Negroes? European painters and sculptors by their use of white models to typify biblical characters have falsified tremendously the physiognomy of the ancient Jews. We are familiar with the scores of portraits offered to us as Christ, but do good Christians ever stop to think what he really looked like? Josephus, a first century historian, describes him as a dark-skinned and simple in appearance and his hellacious suppressed portion of his work. Solomon too is portrayed as a white man, though in the songs attributed to him he speaks of himself as black but calmly. After visiting most of the leading galleries of Europe and America, the only realistic painting of an eastern crowd that I've ever seen is Christ and Barabbas by Verlet in the Royal Museum of Antwerp where the mob is glamoring for Barnabas in preference to Christ. Solomon too is always painted white. The only picture I've ever seen of him as a Negro was in a certain luxurious palace of Cistaria in Paris. Mentions was made of the biblical theory that Negroes became black because of Noah, supposedly white, cursed the sons of Ham, but the earliest Jews were in all probability Negroes. Abraham, their ancestor, is said to have come from Chaldea, and the ancient Chaldeans were black. The Chaldees, says Higgins, were originally Negroes. As was said too, relics of prehistoric Negroes have been discovered in this region. It is even possible that the Jews originated not in Asia, but in Africa. Gerald Massey has advanced considerable argument and proof of that theory. The Falasha, or black Jews of Ethiopia, are probably very ancient. They claim lineal descent from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, call themselves Beta Israel, the chosen people, and observe the Passover. Tacticus 80 AD says that many Romans of his time believed that the Jews originated in Ethiopia, having left there to escape oppression from Cephas the king. Winston, translator of Josephus' History of the Jews, acts with regard to this 
One would wonder how Tacticus or any other heathen should suppose the African Ethiopians under Cephas, who are known to be blacks, could be the parents of the Jews, who are known to be whites. But as was said, the Negro Jews in Ethiopia are actually Jews. Moreover, it is only in the white man's land that the Jews are white, this being the result of intermixture with the whites. In the black man's land, they are black. If some Romans believed that the Jews were of Ethiopian ancestry, there must certainly have been black Jews in Rome. Negroes were very well known to the Romans. Dr. Hans Gunther, in his book, does the same. His work is illustrated with portraits of Negroid Jews of Europe and elsewhere. As was already said, he compares a portrait of Abraham Palat, a Hottentot, with that of Benjamin Desireli, Jewish Prime Minister of England. The resemblance is striking. Gunther, it is said, did this to depreciate the Jew, but since we do not concede that Negro ancestry is a disgrace, we cannot consider that Gunther's alleged aim has been achieved. Count Adam Grukowski of Poland, who visited the United States in 1857, said similarly, numbers of Jews have the greatest resemblance to American mulattoes, swallow, carnation complexion, thick lips, crisp black hair of all the Jewish population scattered over the globe one fourth dwells in Poland. I am therefore well acquainted with their features. On my way, on my arrival in this country, the United States, I took every light colored mulatto for a Jew. Measurements of the skulls of Polish Jews in Whitechapel, London revealed that about 30% of them were Negroid. The Negro strain is apparent among a considerable number of American Jews. Some Jewish women go to Negro hairdressing parlors to have their hair straightened. The island of Jamaica has a considerable number of mulatto Jews also. Nature Knows No Color Line by J. A. Rogers Strabo, 30 BC, says the people of Western Judea were of part Egyptian ancestry. But, he says, although the inhabitants are mixed up, thus the most prevalent of the accredited reports in regard to the temple at Jerusalem represents the ancestors of the present Judeans, as they are called, Egyptians. Tacticus, about 90 AD, says many assert that the Jews are an Ethiopian race. For Romans to have taken them for Ethiopians is clear indication of their color, since the Ethiopians were definitely black to the Romans. Wyatt says, an interesting gradation of all shades down to the black is exhibited by the Jews. Especially dark were the Jews of Spain and Portugal. The Portuguese Jews were very dark, says Pritchard. The Duchess de Abrantes, wife of Napoleon, ambassador to Portugal, says that the Jew, the Negro, and the Portuguese could be seen in a single person. So dark were the Jews, especially of Portugal and southern Spain, that many whites thought all Jews were black or dark.